कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वेद काउपी Somebody sure by now with the title, the intro, and of course the flag. You guys must have already guessed that we were talking about the not so talked about post-Soviet country of Moldova, and I'll be accompanied by my good friend Darius, who actually lives in Moldova. Hi, I'm Darius, and I will be accompanying him throughout the video. Okay, so I'm confident most of you guys watching this video wouldn't really know shit about Moldova. Gladfully enough, I don't really have a huge American audience. Where's America? I would say this big one, but I'm probably wrong. Which really does give me a little bit of hope. Anyways, let's give you guys a little overview of the country. Peeping into Moldova's geography, this is where it was located in the Soviet Union, and in the current day, it's situated in Eastern Europe, bordered in the south and southwest by Romania. East, North, and West by Ukraine. Its capitals being Chisinau. Ye Chisinau ne noro chitule. Yala dinso auto proclamat inspector sovietic. Pork Indian. You guys must have heard this song. Actually, this song reminds me of the Shri trend which was around some months ago. Anyways, this song is actually from Moldova by a Euro dance band named as Ozone. Another interesting fact, which is actually really relevant to the channel, the channel's history, is Moldova's national animal is Bigfoot. Is a big cow. Ah! Well, relax. It's more of a bison. It's called as the Orox. Which is also on the Moldovan flag, right in the center. Orox even has some cultural references, which make them the national animal of Moldova. Talking about culture, like many other post-Soviet countries, alcohol is a huge part of the country's culture, especially in Moldova, where it's worldwide known for its wine. They also have a day dedicated to wine. We have been celebrating the National Wine Day for 19 years now. We have started in a modest way. Later, we've gained courage and passion. We've grown to genuinely believe in the wine of Moldova, more so in hard times. Not just because it's ours, but also because it's really good. <laughs> For some reason, the wine is banned in Russia, and they're also the second most booziest country in the world. So basically, Moldova is a country which is ethnically Romanian with Russian influence, and filled with people who love drinking and of course lovely babushkas and I can just picture a lovely babushka creating sweet wine in a Moldovan cottage by the way Moldova is home to two disputed regions which claim to be separate countries one of them being Transnistria which is the only region that still uses the Soviet territorial flag anyways that's not the point basically Transnistria has its own football team known as Team Sheriff which is owned by the Company Sheriff, which basically runs the whole country of Transnistria. Anyways, so Team Sheriff miraculously qualified to the Champions League this season and went on to beat Real Madrid. So basically, Real Madrid got beaten up by a team from a country that does not even exist. Now, Darius will take over and tell you about life in Moldova. Over to you, Darius. So, right now, I'm located in one of the five parts that the capital of Moldova, Chisinau, has named Chukana. I'm on the main alley of it and I made my appearance here to tell you some things about Moldova. First of all, I will compare the life in the Soviet Union and the life now. So starting things off, life in the Soviet Union was a lot better uh, according to people that lived in that exact time. Studies were free as well as medicine and uh, people from the rural parts were able to construct their house themselves even if they were the poorest man there. As for the people from the urban parts were given a free apartment. Money wasn't really a problem back then, the goods couldn't be found out easily. Uh, leaders of the Soviet Union were strict as hell, because people were not able to travel to another country, only their leaders could. As for the religion, religion was prohibited and atheism was promoted, and uh, if you believe in any religion, you'd be hardly punished for it. As for now, you have all the rights to believe in whatever religion you want. Uh, back then, telling people your, your opinion about your life and your living was a big no-no. People were scared. 
now we have all the freedom to express our thoughts in the whole world. For 30 years, Moldova is a free country and an independent state. In these 30 years, Moldova has gone through and still has problems, like separatist tendencies, religious trust in Istria, war, the fall of the economy, migration, corruption, and so on. Because of the poverty, a lot of the things have decided their way into the foreign countries. Uh, almost 45% of the whole population was, is working abroad. Some people take their family and leave Moldova in search for a better life. Others, with the money that they made in those foreign countries, come back to Moldova. In comparison with other European countries, Moldova has developed harder. That's why Moldova has to progress with the years that pass by. We want to live well on this land. That's why the future of our country is in the hands of the new government and the hands of all the citizens that live in Moldova to contribute to the prosperity of the country. All the mountains, all the seas, all the winds are dancing, Kora. It's a dance you've never seen. From